Cage. <laughs> All right, this is going to be interesting because a lot of times, like the the Lucario matchup spread, uh, it kind of he kind of doesn't like characters that can just you know very consistently close out stocks early, like grapplers and sure, stuff like yeah. that. ZSS not a grappler, but man, can she close out stocks consistently at the ledge? So I don't know if I mean obviously Hero would have had a hard time against ZSS. So I think Lucario might have been his only choice, but not necessarily like yeah. a great choice for him. Maybe not what he would want ultimately. Yeah, the name of the game against Lucario is to not play with your food. You want to take your stocks as early as you humanly can. The longer you let Lucario hang around, we've seen it time and time again. Uh, this character with Rage plus Aura is a menace to society. So, you know, Zero Suit Samus, again, not a character that's going to blow you away, but is a character that can uh, eliminate these stocks very, very early uh, given the right circumstances. So let's see if it'll work out for WebJP here or if uh, Lucario or if Avivi. You know, I think first time I've seen them play Lucario today, so hopefully they're not super cold, but nonetheless looking pretty solid right now. Man, and that Aura Sphere just covering every possible tech option there. That was a tough scenario for Webb. And, and you saw right there the exchange with the Zare going through the Aura Sphere. Definitely right. something to keep in mind as we get to, you know, those, maybe those late stock percents where Aura Sphere canceling becomes, uh, you know, a huge factor for Lucario. Sheesh. And that command grab sending Alice to the moon. I mean, this this <laughs> this set is going to be determined by Webb's ledge trapping and edge guarding because Lucario's floaty and. The, ZSS just loves characters that are floaty. It's hard to land versus her. And again, you need to close these stocks out. So his less trapping, if it's if it's sharp, fits on point, he's going to be taking these stocks th before Lucario becomes the jank rage monster that he is. <laughs> and that's going to determine the match, I think, more so than anything. But also, let's just say, VV, you know, playing neutral really, really well. I mean, his movement's been pretty good, and it hasn't been easy for Webb to catch him in, in neutral. And you see Webb doing a good job with just a slight of... Um you know, movement adjustments in these lead trap scenarios. We've seen a lot of B-reverse Paralyzer coming out, uh, you know, a lot of B-reverse, uh, you know, Plasma Whip as well. So definitely uh, no stranger to just kind of like slight micro space and to get around the, you know, kind of gnarly hitboxes that Lucario can, uh, you know, gather as the percents get higher. Yeah, one of the things that's it that is very interesting about CSS is that all of her aerials pretty much are oh, missing that flip kick, man. And again, see, it's those kind of moments where that kind of is going to determine the match. I mean, here he has another shot. Great call out there with the side B. He jumped above the ledge a little bit. I wonder if Vivi's like, like shaking his head at that one. Like, ah, oh, man, I just jumped a little too early. Yeah. I could have been below the ledge and not been hit by that. Yeah, kind of a rookie mistake right there. You never want to jump parallel to the ledge like that because you leave yourself open, uh, especially when your uh, opponent has moves that can reach you know, that far, like the plasma warp cam. So if you're Vivi, you're definitely kicking yourself a little bit here, but you know, uh, you know, the harder you get hit, the stronger Lucario is going to get. So if you're WebJP, you know, again, this goes for most matches against Lucario. You're not, uh, you can't feel comfortable until the game tells you that it's over. Right. And one of the things that's, you know, really, really good about ZSS is that all of her aerials are pretty safe on block. You kind of have to get used to punishing the next thing she does. And there, he called out a jump, got it with the R-Sphere. Um, but you're seeing a lot of scenarios where Webb will sh pressure VV's shield, and VV has to, like, guess whether he's going to F-till afterward or just run away or jump away. And, like, those kind of little scenarios really determine whether you get your, you know, your, your win in neutral or get yep. out of disadvantage. All right, so we're nearing the uh, scary percents right here. If, again, if you're WebJP, you definitely don't want to get super comfortable, but if you're VV, you definitely have to be on your P's and Q's because... Yeah, Zero Suit Samus has, oh, you know, three oh or four boy. options she can kill you with. Oh, and boy. Webb is really trying to make sure he does not let Lucario set up again in this scenario. He's like, I need to stay in advantage. I need to close out the stock now because it's getting scary. Oh, boy. The, one of these back airs and, and one of these command grabs, I mean, it'll kill soon. Maybe not yet, but it will kill soon. So Webb really needs to get this clutch hit. No. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and no. That's a stock, yes. <laughs> so he... He did the B-reverse aura charge, Yeah. canceled that into the command grab. Yeah. Turn around, command grab. Wow. Yeah, it's scary. If you take a look at the exchange here, as, you know, unfortunately there for uh, WebJP, probably ending up on the ledge when they didn't want to. Again, ooh, yep, running up with the... Sh there Guess, it is. Yeah, it Got the matter. confirm. That is a confirm, and you are dead. Dunzo. Force palm. Right there, baby. Yeah. He's a steel type. <laughs> as in steal your stock. <laughs> Boy, you've been sitting on that one, I'm sure, for... No, I just thought of it. Yeah. yeah you're... <laughs> Why are you booing me? I'm right. Oh, man. But again, kind of like what I just said, you know, like, 
this match is going to be determined by the ledge trapping. Webb missed uh, an opportunity to ledge trap him, and he died for it. And yeah. that's really going to determine who wins this set. Yeah, if, you, if, you know, if you're WebJP, listen, you already passed the ultimate patience test in beating uh, John Numbers. VV, another one of those characters, the players that's really going to test your patience, especially in those late stock scenarios, you know, you kind of want to press the envelope, force your opponent to think a little bit faster. But, you know, Lucario's a character where even at the slightest, uh, you know, mess up, he was at 53 before they hit and he exploded. So, you know, you have to be on your toes at all percents against Lucario in these last hit scenarios. Yeah, we also, I mean, Vivi's also doing a great job of actually approaching. Like, I mean, it's easy to say, oh, it's Lucario, he just wants to charge Aura. But if you watch the first few interactions of the game, he actually just called out Zero Suit's jump and he, he got, the, he just won neutral and, and yeah. started the game off really strong. The thing about Zero Suit Samus is like, her rising aerial is forward air, but if you're far away, she's not just gonna forward air in place, you know what I mean? So you you can kind of, it's safe to assume she's gonna do a short hop and wow. Really great back air there from uh, Webb. Yeah, Zare to back air, one of the, uh, you know, confirms that ZSS does have to play with at these percents. And like you mentioned, you know, uh, Webb is the Zare king. Uh, you know, uh, converting out of that, uh, you know, for a lot of his offense for sure. So, man, and that frame one jab, like she, the second ZSS whiffs something, most players will like spot dodge, you know what I mean? Like pick a defensive option. ZSS players are not like that. They mash jab. So he whiffed an up smash and was like, Ugh, hold this fist. Yep. <laughs> We've all seen the memes. How do you approach a woman with the frame one jab? It's very, very difficult. Wow, beautiful uh, wave bounce. <laughs> that was actually really nice. That, yeah. that was like perfectly spaced. It looked it looked like Vivi was like, wait, what the heck did she just do? Yeah, listen, TSS gets a lot of, uh, you know, distance out of things, you know, like wave bouncing and be reversing, uh, her, you know, her aerials. Dude, he forced his palm upon her, bro, and she didn't die. That was actually really nice. And he has a decent amount of range because, as we know, like Lucario, his aura stacks per stock. Yes. So he has a little bit more every stock that he loses. Yeah, as you see right there, when, once you start hearing like the, the loud whirring noise, you know, the, the bass in the venue starts getting uh, a little crunchy. That's when you know Lucario is at those, uh, that danger percent as, you know. It's aura like... sphere by Dre. <laughs> It's just like an unbeatable base. Like the base is just when he shoots the R sphere, you like feel it. Like it just like speaker in your chest. Yeah, 4D for sure. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I have the right idea, uh, but WebJ feet just goes a little bit too high for that punish. As Vivi again doing a good job holding on to this aura. You know, you know maybe uh, forcing WebJP to think uh, twice. You know when running in here. Yeah, really smart there for um, you know Web to go for a grab on that B reverse aura charge. Uh, Vivi's been doing that the whole game, and like, I, I feel like Webb's been respecting it until now. Now he's like, oh yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna grab him when he does that. Ooh, okay, Aura Sphere will connect right there. So Vivi still, uh, you know, keeping it uh, respectable and close, by the way, is uh, WebJP trying to send it to a game three. Oh, and there it is. Whiff a move into the jab. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the old whiff to jab mix up. Yeah, frame one jab, baby. Whiff to mash. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. You see Vivi, uh, you know, starting to air dodge in some awkward spots here. Ooh, missing, you know, I wonder, a lot of times missing a tech is actually the best thing you could do um, because the other person is going to call out your your tech roll into the ledge and then yep. you get back aired. I think Vivi was looking for a back air there and Webb either missed the tech on purpose or by accident, but missing it is actually what saved him. Vivi was not ready for that. He respected him as a player. He's yeah. like, he's gonna get this tech. <laughs> and when he didn't get it, he was like, oh, I respected you. Yeah, you see WebJP searching for this uh, kill right here, but Vivi, uh, you know, holding on for dear life. Oh, and that's a stock. Game two is set. Yeah. We're going to a game three. We yeah. see a ban, uh, an immediate classic New Jersey <laughs> ban of Lilac Cruz. Like, literally, he didn't even think about it. Frame one jab, <laughs> frame one ban Lilac, and then he banned um, Smashville. Okay. Oh, town, 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 town and city. Thank you to the voice in our head uh, who is uh, providing yes. us with all the information we need. <laughs> the voices in our head are always good. Yeah. <laughs> Should probably see a doctor about that, but, you know. <laughs> uh, it's... <laughs> I'm, bl uh, I'm blinking twice. I'm being held hostage, by the way. So, all right. That is definitely not Toad. That is Slippy, man. <laughs> that is Slippy. It has to be. One, go. Yeah. <laughs> Watch us find out it's the same voice actor. I'm gonna have to look that up afterward. Yeah, you might not sleep. To you might lose some sleep tonight over that one. So, 
All right, tied up 1-1 here. Uh, winner moves on into winner's finals of the date with Zamba. So let's see who uh, wants it more here. If it's going to be VV or uh, WebJP. If you're WebJP, you might be a little bit tilted because, like, man, should have won this 2-0 already. But. Yeah, and uh, now we're at this game three. I mean... I, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It really can go either way. I mean, in this game, it, it just feels like, especially against Lucario and ZSS characters, it just, like, yeah. they steal your stocks. They just take them away. Like, yeah. it feels like <laughs> stock leads are not as big of a deal. I feel like as Ultimate has been progressing, people's punish games have gotten so good that people yeah, kind of exactly. just bring it back. Like, it's, it's really not that big of a lead a lot of times. And right now, this is dead even, so. Yeah. Again, listen, if, if you're WebJP, you know, the more you can kind of keep things uh, within arm's reach, the better, you know, the higher. Uh, but again, you don't want to get into a scenario where you start playing with your food and, you know, VV uh, steals one from underneath you with, uh, you know, Rage back air or an Aura Sphere or Force Palm has been a huge factor in this set so far. So, man, I mean, Web was just calling it, trying to call out a jump there and he, he didn't get it, but gets the side beat, doesn't kill. Wow. Gets back. The flip jump's not going to connect. You see VV locked in the ledge here. Ooh, but oh, great. Wow. That was that was amazing. That he was hasn't slick. done that once the whole set. I wonder if he was just saving it. Like, I'm going to save this until it's going to take the stock. Yeah, listen. Up smash being one of ZSS's strongest options. The forward smash on that air dodge into the ground uh, will punish that uh, nicely for VV, though. So we're back at even uh, you know zeros across the board here. You know, it's interesting. I, earlier I said this this game is, uh, this set is going to be determined by the ledge trapping, but now I'm realizing that really the challenge for the ZSS player against Lucario is if you're fighting against Lucario, you have to find answers to that B reverse aura charge because that's that's really like his neutral. Like, it's all centered around that. And so we're seeing Webb find like three different answers in three different situations. Like, one time he grabbed him, the other time he did something else, and then that time he did up smash. I mean, Really, really smart plays there. Yeah, you know, you see uh, Webb answering back with VV's, you know, B-reverses, with B-reverses of his own, you know, adjusting his own spacing. And listen, he has a whip to play with, so things are definitely going to be a little bit more easier for him uh, spacing-wise in those type scenarios. Oh, wait a second. Oh, man, and, you know, Webb is so... Um I mean, he really is an aggressive player. I mean, he. I mean, obviously, it's it's like you said earlier, it's camping in your face. But man, he just keeps. Wow. I told you, like this man is a Zare specialist. If yeah. you miss, if he zares you, man, and you miss that tech, or you just. He, I don't even know if you even if you he read the he tech, read to roll away. And yeah, was able to like this man will turn game. that into a stock every time. Ooh, okay, rolls behind the forward smash, but not getting a big punish out of it. So let's see what Webb does with the lead here as Vivi able to generate a little bit of space here. It gets uh, Webb in a ledge trap scenario, but coughs it up. I forgot Lucario even had a counter. <laughs> I haven't seen that in so long. I was like, wait, what move is that? <laughs> Very seldom we use. It's yeah. double team. One of the things I also really like about this set is that both of these players are kind of using like ballsy mix-ups to get back on stage. Like we just saw Webb flip kick right in front of him onto stage from the ledge and Lucario, he, he was, wasn't ready for it. So Vivi just kind of like respected it. And we see Vivi doing really smart like up Bs where he'll just recover early and get back on stage. All right, last stock scenario for both players here is Vivi uh, nearing the century mark here as WebJP as a fresh uh, third stock to play there with. There it but, is. Oh my gosh. Just up in, uh, into you on stage. That's very, very ballsy. Let's be very careful here. If you're WebJP, you don't want to overextend and allow yourself to get uh, opened up in a punish by Lucario, especially with Rage uh, being a factor here. Oh, wow. Poorly spaced Nair. D is it going to die for it? Great awareness from Webb that he could up be that. Oh, Ooh. and he almost fell for it. He didn't have an answer for it that time. Ooh. If he misses the tech, oh, oh, he almost got it. VV oh trying to read a tech roll in. All right, VV with the extreme speed into WebJP. Both players uh, really <laughs> dancing around each other's danger zones here. Man, and looking how mobile Webb has been with ZSS, avoiding that giant R sphere. I mean, this is going to be really tough oh, for VV. No! Oh, you got to wonder if that was a misinput. I mean, it definitely wasn't a hard read. There was no way his opponent could be there. Uh, oh, boy, this is a nail biter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So much spaghetti on both sides here. And that's the back here will connect, and that'll be all she wrote as. Dying at 81% in the middle of the stage almost. Oh, Lord. Yeah, listen, you saw a lot of, you know, maybe some... Uh, 81. A lot of nervous fingers here, there. As you see, again, uh, miss input on the up smash. What was going to be... Oh, he ran up to try to F-tilt him, maybe thinking that, uh, you know, V was going to run up and shield in front of him. Uh, 
Oof, right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the music in the background just makes it oh, so much boy. better. <laughs> but yeah, listen, that was a closely contested set between those guys. I expected it to be a close set. Again, yeah, of you course. know, uh, definitely a uh, you know a marathon set right there. And if you're Vivi, you know, you're probably kicking yourself a little bit there, like we mentioned. Yeah. Uh, very much in the driver's seat in all of those games. And, you know, uh, yeah. Lucario's X Factor is that and you are not, it's like the, you know, the the bad guy in a horror movie. Like, and, you are and, not safe. Yeah. And even though time. he was at 81%, you could tell that Webb, like, knew. He was like, he was playing extra, extra careful because he knew he was going to die at that percent. Like, I think some other players might underestimate just how much aura Lucario has yeah. when he's on his last yeah. stock and he was at 152 like and you're in the middle of the stage I think some other players might have underestimated that but you know Webb was mindful of it but you know at the end of the day he traded and the trade was no backsies <laughs> my guy is gone yeah, again, you saw, again, some nervous fingers there. A boost kick that probably wasn't meant to be uh, pressed there. And I'm smashing probably Definitely was nervous, yeah. Like, yeah, so that feet, so it's a little bit of uh, jittery fingers there. But listen, if you're Vivi, you're uh, taking that to the bank. So we're going to have a New York 